guys, it's your coach Brianna Citrowski here, Team Beach Body Coach. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I stay organized with my business and what has worked for me so far. Now, when I started coaching, I had a problem with organization because I started getting all these tips and tricks and ideas and I had nowhere to put it. And I was talking to people, you know, about joining my challenge groups and um, just connecting with new people, but I had nowhere to organize who I was talking to and I was just getting off track and it was setting me back. So I came up with this system and so far it has worked for me, but I mean, I'm not the most organized person in the world by any means, but this has worked with, for me to keep, um, especially to help me keep track of who I'm talking to and who I'm inviting. So this is my binder here. Um, on the front I have listed out my goals. I just put a piece of paper in here and I wrote, write out my goals for the month and I also have my downline drawn on there. And as I add new coaches to it, I write them in also. And then I have highlighted um, who my coaches are, who my PS coaches are, and then also um, I'll circle them if they're inactive. Um, and I write out how many coaches I need in order to get to my new goal. So like right now I need two coaches on my right. Like I need one coach on my right to go emerald before I can get to diamond. So, and then I also have at the top written out um, what challenge packs are on sale for the month. So I, I haven't organized this at all for you guys. This is literally how it looks. And it's kind of a mess, but... When I open it up, this is what I get to. So I have a bunch of random notes here, either notes from team calls or um, when I did the Shine Bright Like a Diamond group, I still have notes from that in here. I have some sticky notes. Um, and then I have my, I always have my personal development book sitting in here too. Right now I'm reading Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Highly recommend it. And then I have a notebook. And my notebook is not organized by any means. It's filled with notes um, that I just write randomly from videos I watch or coach calls I have. I'll write down my ideas. And sometimes it gives me a little anxiety with how much of a mess it is. But, I mean, that's okay to have that in there. Um, and then I do have a calendar here. And if you don't have a calendar... I would really recommend getting one because this has helped me so much and I'll show you guys it um so I open it up and like this is the month of October so I have every day and I have written down what when my groups start um I have all the calls written down and I also have um the days that I'm supposed to post for groups I have that written in there and um I do write down also if I'm talking to people and they I've sent them a video or I've told them I'm going to follow up with them, I will write down um, the day I'm supposed to follow up with them. So like I'm supposed to follow up with a girl tomorrow so I have her name written there and tomorrow I'll go to that day and I'll see it so I know that I need to message her tomorrow. Okay and then the next, this is my most important page. This is where I keep track of all my stuff and it's a simple table but I've been using this for a couple months now. If you go back I have pages and pages of this and I have how I do it is I write out the new contacts I write out invites and then invite to coaching. So I have every day I write down the day and I put a line across, I write down the date, and I write down who I talk to, people that I haven't talked to before. I write them down, and then I write down who I invite for the day, and then I'll write down if I invite anybody to coaching also. And this has worked for me so great, because you can go back and say, okay, yesterday I talked to this person, this person, this person, and these people didn't respond to me. Or, I mean, and it's good, and I always have my goal written up here also just to keep track so I have that and then I have um I'll do front and back just to 
just because and it's worked for me so great and then um I have random notes again from oh quite a way, quite a while ago just from videos and stuff and then I have written down my customers here too and I wrote down what they've bought from me when they signed up I have my coaches wrote down on the back this stuff in the front is kind of my most important stuff, the stuff I go to right away. And then I have a page that's follow-ups. Now this is an important page too, as you can see right here. So I write down, let's say I talk to, okay, this girl's name is Desiree. I talked to her um, a couple days ago and she said, okay, I have to talk to so-and-so and make sure that they're okay with me getting this or um, to see if they can help me pay for this. And I said, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna, is it okay if I follow up with you like next week? And she said, sure. So I'm gonna follow up with her. I wrote it down. And also, if people say, you know, it's not for me right now, I'll say, um, I'll always invite them to the next group. So, okay, that's fine. I understand. Next group in December, I have a challenge group starting up also. I'm not sure the exact dates yet. When I know what day it's gonna start, is it okay if I message you and let you know? And like 9 out of 10 times or more, they will say, yes, that's fine. So I'll write them down and I'll write next to them, December Challenge Group. Um, the next tab, I have a Goals tab. And on my Goals tab, I have my, um, my, reach for, my weekly tracker. And I keep that there. And I have my daily to-do list, which... I don't always follow like this particularly. I usually write out my own to-do list every day and it'll just be on a piece of paper like in my binder here. Um, and then I of course have like the three vital behaviors in here. Um, and then I have a challenge group page also. So this is where I write out my challenge group people um so like for next month or like my October 5th group as I would have people order a challenge pack I'd write their name out on here so that way when I put up um open up my challenge group I know who to invite or who to add to that group and then I have a tab for workouts so I have all the workouts listed in here if I need to refer to it. I have a tab on Shakeology and I don't go to it too much. I usually send them the YouTube video, the Shakeology breakthrough video. But I do have like ingredients and benefits chart in here if I were to talk to anybody um, face to face. And then I have a customer to coach tabs. So what this is, is when I open it up, it's um, names of people that I'm going to put in my sneak peek group, my upcoming sneak peek group. And then in the I have a page that says potential coaches. So this is just another table, but I've just listed out names of people that are in my challenge groups or people I come across, th across that I think would make a good coach. I'll jot their name down on here. So that way, if I... I'm starting up a sneak peek group or anything, or I've been talking to this person, I can go back and say, oh yeah, like, I forgot she, you know, I think she'd be a good coach. I should go talk to her and let her know about this sneak peek group. So that's basically it, and I do have, like, my, my meal plans and everything in this cute little puppy folder that I found in my house. <laughs> but, um... That's it, and I mean, for me, the biggest part for organizing, I would say, is this calendar that I use, for sure, and I mean, because I can jot down everything that's going on in this, and then for sure this page, where I write down every day who I talk to, who I invite, and who I invite to coaching, and this keeps me accountable, because I don't want to look back at it and say, oh yeah, I only invited you know, one person this day, like I did last Thursday, I only invited one person, well, that's going to show up in the future when I'm not getting, you know, when I'm ha at a standstill, that's why, because I took a break back then, so, 
I hope this was helpful to you guys, or, I mean, I like I said, I'm not the most organized person in the world, but it does help me, and it's how I've stayed tra kept on track with, especially with my invites and talking to people and follow-ups as well. So, I hope it helped you guys, and if it did, feel free to like, share, and follow me. Have a good day.